Good morning, everybody. This is Eric again with Aurora Heart Healing, here to share some more wisdom and knowledge. So today, we are going to be focusing on a few different practices. The first one, the first, first video I'm going to be uploading is in regards to shielding, protecting ourselves. As empaths, we take on a lot. <laughs> I remember back when I didn't know any of what I know today, and I was so weighed down by the emotions of others. I suffered pain, physical and emotional, constantly. And I didn't know exactly what to do to make myself feel better. As I continued to grow in my craft, I started learning different techniques that really helped me know how to take care of myself and shield myself from the emotions of others. We tend to want to help others and take care of others, but so many of the healers that I know actually neglect themselves in the process. You can't help anyone unless you help yourself first. That's like the number one thing. If you've ever been on an airplane, they say, put your mask on first and then take care of the others. Well, I am definitely a big example of that in my own life. I'd always take care of others before I took care of myself. I would get home exhausted and just sit on the phone or the TV mindlessly because I just couldn't take anything else on. It was literally unrealistic for me to try to do anything else because I was just so depleted in my energy. One of the things that I've learned to do is shielding myself. I get a lot of questions on how do you shield yourself? What does that even mean? Back in the day, uh, think of it as being in a war, right? There's things coming at you and people need to protect themselves one way or another. And they used to use shields. Well, I think of mine as a superhero suit that I get to put on. I know it sounds funny and cheesy, but that's okay. <laughs> Nothing is, everything has to do with how you want it to be. You could have a shield and that shield can say, I'm going to take care of myself. I'm not going to absorb the energy from other people. I am protected. I am able to be present, but it doesn't mean I have to take this on as my energy. So that's one way of shielding. You can close your eyes and get yourself into a meditative state where you are in deep meditation and you're just visualizing yourself being surrounded by white or golden light. And in that, you want to set your intention. What is it that you're intending? I am protected from the energy of others. I do not have to take others' energy into my field. Why is this so important? Well, imagine yourself carrying a backpack up a really, really steep hill. And you're walking and you're carrying it and you have some friends along. And at some point, your friend turns to you and says, Hey, um, I'm really tired. Will you carry my backpack for me? And you say, Okay, I'm really tired too. This is a really long hike, but I guess I'll take care of it. Yeah, sure. So you put the second backpack on, which means you have double the weight. And you're continuing up this hill. And you're very much so getting more exhausted, more tired, more depleted in your energy field. So you keep going up this hill and you're just chugging along, really pushing yourself. And you look at your friend that has now left you behind. And you're just kind of looking forward and being like, oh my God, they're so much, they're leaving me behind. Then another friend comes by and they say, Oh, you're carrying that bag? Will you carry mine too? And maybe because of weak boundaries, we say, sure, I'll do that for you. I'm already carrying this from someone else too. I'll do it for you too. 
So now you have the weight of three backpacks for a whole day supply or a week supply on your own back. And you are constantly carrying and you're struggling now. You're out of breath. You're tired mentally, emotionally, and physically because now you're resentful. You're angry. Why can't they see that this is heavy for me? Why can't they see that this is not okay for them to do, to just leave me their mess, their backpack, their weight? As we continue to go, you're just more and more tired. We can see what the pattern leads to, right? Burnout, stress, anxiety, bitterness. This is why shielding is so important. Because we do not want to be that bitter old person saying, I always did everything for everybody else and no one ever did anything for me. <laughs> I don't want to be that, at least. And I hope that this today helps you really let go of the backpacks. Let go of the extra weight that you might be carrying for other people. So... The way that I do my shielding is I do put a superhero suit on. And I think it's fun because I actually really love superheroes. Like if anyone knows me, Marvel, um, DC, I'm all on it. <laughs> so what I do is I think about it mentally. I set the intention a long time ago, but sometimes I still need to get a little bit of that, hey, I got to remember to put on my suit and take it off. And what I'm doing in my suit is that it protects me. It's not the whatever I say bounces off of me and sticks to you saying. It's more of I give back what I am given with love and light. So if someone's trying to put their energy on me, I say, I'm sorry, this is not mine. I can only carry what is mine. I laid that down. Some people do not like that, and that's okay. It takes time to get used to change, and change will happen when you see this. Some people will be really upset at the fact that you've always carried their backpacks before, and out of nowhere, now you're not doing that. So remember, keep that in mind, that as you start to protect yourself, as you start to evolve and change and grow, there will be certain things that, or people, that will resist your changes and really be upset with you as you grow. And again, is that your backpack to carry? Is that something that you're supposed to be burdened with? So take that in mind. So as I said, my shield my superhero suit. I put on mostly when I'm with clients, not because I want to say, oh, I just can't. I'm cutting myself off. That's not what it is. It is what is mine is okay to have as mine. What is yours is okay to have as yours. We want to be whole beings. So we don't want anyone to have to take our stuff or we don't want to give all of our stuff away. So put your superhero suit on. Whatever your intention for that superhero suit. Maybe it's, I don't want to absorb other people's energies. So you say, this suit helps me prevent absorbing energy from others. This superhero prevents me from having to carry the backpacks of others. This superhero suit gives me strength, the will to continue to move forward. And when I am at home, when I'm safe, when I don't have to worry about so many energies, I can just take it off and that's okay. It's important for us to know where our boundaries lie. You can say, this is mine and that is yours. I do have another video on that one, although looking back at it, I will need to redo that one again soon. But you say this is mine because you are claiming your energy 
You are claiming who and what you are, your whole field, when you are doing that. This is mine. You can say it with conviction because you know what is yours. And if you do not, then it'll help you clearly define what is yours. And then you can move forward to this is yours. And I say it with open arms and open hands because I don't want to throw energy at people. I don't want them to be angry. I don't want them to be upset and I don't want to injure them. Our words matter. So this is mine and this is yours. I lay down your weight so I can carry mine. Isn't that what we all want? People around us that are willing to carry their own weight because we all have it in this lifetime? Something to think about. If you think of anything else, please leave it in the comments below. I hope that this helps you understand a little bit more about boundaries and also about shielding yourself. Really creating a bubble of protection. Some people I know do actually wrap themselves in a bubble. I don't want to say how you individually do it. Just know that you can activate or you can deactivate. You don't want to be constantly on the guard. And this isn't about guarding yourself and being so protected from people. It's about saying my energy is valuable and I am making sure that I am tending to my energy. I want to take care of myself. I want to make sure that I'm doing okay. And Carrying three, four, ten backpacks is not taking care of ourselves. You might think it, but it really is not because at the end of the day, you're exhausted and you can't serve the way that you are originally intended to serve. I hope that this video helps you understand a little bit more about shielding and also a little bit about boundaries and what is yours and what is others? It is always okay to say no. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for hearing.